Hey guys, Dibs here, and today I've got an Overwatch loot box opening video for you. Now, as you can see, I have 50 loot boxes, and that is because I have somebody to thank for that. And I really want to thank you, Hooplehead USA, for donating $40 just so I can um, have 50 of these loot boxes to open. And yeah, um, I'm going to be talking about what I plan for videos ahead, as well as, you know, talk about the overall game and in general as well as what I am looking for while opening these loot boxes. So let's get right down to it. So as you all know, in the latest patch, Blizzard has released the latest version of Overwatch called the Summer Games 2016. Now in this version, there's a lot of skins, a lot of emotes, and just overall different types of sprays and all that other stuff that you can get. Um, the thing is that this lasts until only August 22nd. Anytime after August 22nd, you are not going to be able to get any of these items within your loot boxes. So it's a very limited amount of time that you can actually get them. And this is, I would say, very good for you know people who like buying loot boxes because it kind of makes you want to buy more. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, let's see what we can start off getting first. What I really want to get is the Tracer, um, obviously the Tracer skin, the one where she is... Uh, the one on the front cover, which is this one right here, um, as you can see, this one right here. This is the one that I want to get for Tracer, or at least one of them. There's two different versions for that one, but yeah, um, we're going to try to see if we can get them within the first 50 loot boxes. So we're going to be opening all of them. And see, wow, okay, we already got another legendary. Oh, okay, that's actually good. So as you can see, you can also get different legendaries or legendaries from the previous version of Overwatch, um, the regular version. Um, you can get like this Pharah skin, which is actually pretty nice. I like this one. I already have the uh, the other one where she's like a tribal, um, where she's tribal, and I got a new emote for this one. <laughs> this is a new one as well for Bastion. It's pretty cool. I like this one a lot. I was actually aiming for this one as well, but I don't play, I don't play Bastion enough. But yeah, anyway, um, yeah, let's talk about what I plan on doing for my channel. I am actually going to be trying to work on a little bit more guides as well as... Um, oh, this is a nice emote. But yeah, I want to work on guides a little bit more because I want to spend more time on that. It does take a little bit more time. I'm working on a Pharah guide at the moment. But I'm spending a lot of more time streaming as well. And it kind of takes away the time from the time of making um, you know, different videos or the ones that take a lot of time. Um, guides do take a lot more time, like I already said. But yeah, I'm gonna be trying working on I'll try working on that a little bit more. Um, you're gonna be seeing me working on those more. I'm gonna to try to do uh, analysis gameplays of viewers. So um, a lot of you guys see that I make I'm starting to do some kind of uh, analysis videos. I made a Genji one. I made uh, a Tracer one so far, and uh, it's one where I just go deep into the analysis of. Actually, I like this one. I go into deep analysis for all the plays or a uh, gameplay that I did. And I basically just go in and explain all the moves or all the, the reasoning that I make and decisions as well as give some tips and tricks as to what I think can help you improve your game on that specific hero. So I've done Genji so far, I've done Widowmaker, Junkrat, and Tracer. And also, it's a little bit long. It's a 20, 29 minute game because it was competitive and we had 5 rounds, but I'm definitely going to be putting that up tomorrow so you guys can give that a shot. But that is only my own gameplay. I will be willing to do analysis videos of other people's submissions. So if you give me a link to a YouTube or a, um, a video that I can download or whatever, and you want me to actually go over it, and this is actually what I really wanted to. I definitely gonna want, I wanted this one. Thank you, thank you, I like this one a lot. So this is a highlight intro where she's pretty much just that, you know, doing the, the hurls. But yeah, um, give me a link of your video that you want me to analyze. I will go over it just like I do in mine and I will give suggestions, tips on how I feel like um, you know you can improve. Um, obviously, I am probably not, I'm definitely not the best at all, you know, all, all, at all heroes, but um, some people have requested for me to do that kind of analysis on their gameplay so they can you know help improve um, a little bit on you know, their own gameplay. Everybody thinks differently and sometimes it's actually very nice to kind of hear from an outside voice on how you can improve your own gameplay because whenever you look at your own analysis gameplay you only see certain um, types of uh, um, what was it some type of errors that you make um, from your own view it's really nice for you to be able to actually have somebody else look at your own gameplay and see it from outside and give you some extra feedback on how you play so yeah i'm going to be focusing on that a little bit more and i got this one already <laughs> Alright, but yeah, I'm going to be trying to focus that a little bit on that more. Um, 
yeah, just let me know. Put it in my uh, dibsgaming at hotmail.com. Email it to me, or you can put it on one of the comments on my YouTube channel. I will definitely be looking. I look at every single comment, you know, in my in on that channel. Every single comment, I go through every single one, definitely. And if anybody wants to, you know, request one, then I'll do that as well. So yeah, that is, um, you know, the analysis for my viewers that I'm going to be going over. So aside from doing the analysis videos, I'm also going to be trying to work on guides, like I said, and possibly more drills for kills kinds of guides. Um, I had a lot of requests, or I've had a lot of people. Oh, nice. Okay, this is pretty cool, actually. I like that one. I've had a lot of people actually request that I do the, um, uh, what was it? A drills for kills for Genji. That one is actually one that I've been thinking about for a while because uh, he's actually one of the hardest heroes that um, that has like a really high skill curve and I feel like it's really beneficial not only to me but for a lot of people to kind of like figure out how it is really nice for you to or how how to kind of like practice him especially when it comes to your darts or your, your shurikens because most of the time uh, the shurikens are the best way for you to gain your ultimate charge and um, yeah I find that that's really important for you to kind of like learn how to aim and use that as well as your swift strike he is a very complicated hero and um, yeah, I feel like I'm going to be working on that uh, as well as my Farah guide. Um, that's pretty much mostly what I'm going to be working on, just more guides in general. I'm going to be adding some gameplays whenever I can, because nowadays you guys have seen all of my gameplays of every hero that I play. And I think most of you guys still like uh, my Tracer gameplays the most out of everything else, because, well, I'm not as good, I don't think, <laughs> at my other heroes. So as you can see, you guys have uh, in my stream, you guys have been watching me stream lately, or I don't know if you guys haven't, but yeah, I have been streaming a lot more lately. Um, the past week, I've actually been streaming every day, if I remember correctly, um, except for this past weekend. I think actually I did stream this past weekend, but uh, it was because of my girlfriend's birthday. But yeah, um, I was actually streaming for a lot. Ooh, this is a nice one. I like this one. Yes, got one of them. So I'll, I guess the legendaries, actually no, I got one legendary skin from the new one so far. Not too bad, I like this one, he's got volleyballs. So, yeah, anyway, um, I have been streaming quite a bit lately, but you guys have seen that my uh, Hanzo is, has been out of uh, <laughs> out of practice. So if you guys don't remember, or if you guys weren't there, I actually was playing Hanzo at one point, and I received about, what, 16% accuracy with Hanzo throughout the entire game. So that was pretty, uh, pretty gnarly in a bad way. So actually, you know, I changed that. I didn't want to change that. I thought that was some kind of other one. I want to, I want to get back to the squid. Where's the squid? Squid, squid, squid. Happy squid. Equip. Never leave the happy squid. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go on to the next more. We got, we're halfway. We're at 25 loot boxes. So, uh, nice. I was able to get this mercy one as well. I do have not, I don't have a, uh, a good mercy skin. I only have the default one, I think. But this one is actually very nice. I like the colors that they have so far. And in this patch, all the colors on the heroes are very, very, very bright, vibrant. But I don't know if actually that's a good thing for Mercy because you don't want her to stand out, right? Because if she stands out, then you know she's easy to target. But anyway, it's pretty. <laughs> anyway, going to the next one. But I think it's actually really smart for Blizzard to kind of make this a uh, what was it a um, a limited time thing? Because if you actually don't use this time to get all the loot boxes or pay for it, actually, um, you're not going to be able to get it later, and it's kind of going to force a lot of people to either play a lot more or either pay a lot more for boxes that they would normally not pay for. I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are not going to buy it right away. Um, a lot of them are going to actually continuously keep playing and playing and playing. And then at the end of the, um, the season, which is the, not the season, but the end of this patch, or whenever this is over, which is the 22nd, people are going to start buying a lot more loot boxes at the end because they're going to be like, oh, I didn't get this until the very end. And, and they just want whatever it is that, the, uh, that these loot boxes have. So it's pretty smart for Blizzard to do that, I feel like. Um, overall, Blizzard has been pretty good with their with their um, patches and updating all of this kind of stuff. But uh, recently, they did get DDoSed, and they were having we were having some problems kind of like uh, trying to log in. Nice, I was able to get this one too. Though I, don't, I never played Torp though. I should play him a little bit more. But uh, this is actually one of the new the new gold medal victory poses. Pretty nice, pretty nice. What's this one? Nope, nothing special. Yeah, I like the other one better. Um, but yeah, I do try to plan... Ooh, I got another legend. Holy crap. Ooh, this one's nice. I've always wanted this one. 
because then I have the, the emo one and that one's pretty ugly <laughs> I think but that's the only one that I had anyway so I'm just like eh okay well I was gonna save up for one of those one point this one but I guess I don't need to save it up I'm pretty getting pretty lucky I think actually but yeah this one is jackal skin not too bad yeah Anyway, on to the next one. Oh, and also you can actually open up different loot boxes. So there's two different type of loot boxes, right? This is the previous loot boxes. So if you actually saved it up, you actually made a mistake because well, it didn't make a mistake, but you just waste, you know, you just didn't, oh, you didn't save it. It wouldn't save on, it wouldn't turn into another, uh, the summer loot, summer games loot boxes. But yeah, anyway, that's what we can get. Still looking for that tracer skin. Hoping I can get that very soon. Um, but yeah, uh, streaming more. I'm gonna try to not, not, nothing. I kind of want to stream as much as I can, but that does take away from the time that I have to edit, because uh, the next video that I actually have, the tracer one, is very, very, very long, it, because I actually went so far in debt that I made the video three times longer than the entire game itself. So. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I feel like that's that's the good part of the analysis, though, because if the mo the longer it is, the more content that you will have, and the more that you will honestly get out of the video if you actually watch through the entire thing. But the editing took me like four to five hours to edit that one. It was actually pretty. Dang yes, I got this one. Nice, nice, nice. This is the one that I wanted, or at least one of them. So nice, nice. Got it, got it. But yeah, um, those. Uh, what was it? Those, uh, da, 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 what was I gonna say? Those videos, those analysis videos, do take a long time to edit. Um, holy crap! This is like legendary after legendary. Jeez. I guess I'm getting really lucky. I don't know about this one though. I don't know if I like this one. I gotta see what kind of gun it is though at the end. But anyway, I think I like. I'm gonna try this one just because it's newer. And I'll try to look at the gun later and see what it is. I think we almost. I think we got almost all of the, the legendary skins already. Wow. Okay. That, <laughs> pretty lucky. Getting pretty lucky. So all I now need to know is the highlight intro. Is the highlight intro? Yes. This is the one that I wanted. <laughs> I was actually able to get this one. So I saw this one on um, Fender Stream. And this is really funny. Just he's lobbing his uh, shot put. Uh, I love Junkrat's uh, emotes. But I, I definitely need a new skin for him. I think I'm going to get a new skin, or get a skin for him actually. Um, after, it's because I have a lot of money now. I have 2,600 saved up, and I'm probably going to do that. Uh, we got 50 more loot boxes to go, and I think I pretty much got almost, I think almost everything that I wanted. Pretty good loot box opening so far. Last time I opened it, I opened up a f how many loot boxes? I think I opened up 20, 25 or 30, and I didn't even get a, I got like one legendary out of that. But so far, we're doing really, really good so far. What is this? Oh, I have this one already. Damn it, I need another one. I'm probably just gonna get another one anyway. But I did save money from the previous version because I wanted to. I thought that you were actually going to be able to pay for these these skins and all these extra stuff, but apparently you weren't able to. Uh, it, it's really good for them to do that, though. You know, it makes people play more, obviously, like I said before. But uh, yeah, um, actually, I've also been thinking about doing challenges for videos. Um, what was it before? I think I remember somebody saying, I think I did a challenge before. Did I do a challenge? Yeah, I did a challenge by switching heroes after each death. Um, that was actually a pretty fun stream. I actually like that one. A lot of people like that one. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests for like uh, when you play Tracer, the only way you can heal is by recalling. You can't get any health packs. You can't get any heals from your teammates. So that's an interesting one that I have in mind doing. There's also another one where I think it is. Uh, I think about. I think getting a getting a 15 kill streak at the same time while doing so. But uh, there's a lot of different random. Uh, what was it? Challenge. Um, challenge gameplays that people want me to do. So if you have any ideas on what you want to see, like anything that's kind of like outrageous, I honestly don't really, I don't honestly don't mind um, doing them because uh, it's more fun in my opinion, and you know it just gives different type of content. And I'm always willing to do things that are very challenging as well. So I like I kind of like a change in pace instead of just constant of uh, constantly doing the same, um, the same. Which we call the same videos. Just different types of content is very nice to kind of like have out there. I don't know if I like this one actually. Mm, what do you guys think about this one? I honestly don't know if I like this one. I have the golden one, but I'm not too sure. Um, 
I'll just equip it just so I can check it out later. See the, how the gun looks like. But yeah, um, another honest, uh, another question that gets asked a lot is which golden weapon am I going to get? I am probably going to get either the Tracer one or the Roadhog one because in the Tracer guns, you know, I play Tracer the most. And the Roadhog hook, the, uh, the hook is golden as well if you get it. And that's probably the one that I am most excited about because if you have a freaking golden hook and you hook somebody, and they see the hook coming at you, and then it's like, oh wow, okay, the hook is freaking golden. It's insane. It just looks really cool, you know? I like that one the most. Um, I feel like I'll probably get that one the most. Or McCree, because I've been playing McCree a lot lately. Even after his nerf, he is still pretty viable, in my opinion. His range got nerfed, but his Fanda Hammer got buffed. I still don't see myself using the Fanda Hammer at all. Um, I'm better at aiming with the head instead. I like aiming at the head more, anyway. <laughs> But yeah, um, McCree, a McCree video is going to be coming soon too because I haven't had one come out. Holy crap, another one. Jeez. All this monies. Monies, monies, monies. 200. I don't know why they don't give you just half of it. Well, if you give you half of it, then it's kind of like the same thing as getting gold, I guess. But I don't know. Um, I don't know how it works or why it works that way. Because 1,000, they give you one fifth percentage of whatever it actually costs. But we have one last one um, to open. So let's see what this one holds. Da, 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 da. Oh wow, double. Got this nice skin already, and I got a preview emote. This, this, what, what kind of emote is that? <laughs> okay, yeah, brush your shoulders off. So I have this one as well. I already equipped it, I think. But yeah, uh, I think that's about it for the loot box opening. I went over, you know, what I felt. Um, where my channel was gonna go. So hopefully you guys have a better idea of what to expect I'm honestly trying my hardest to find time to work in guides, but it's really hard because I'm starting to stream right now and um, I kind of want I really want to do both I'll, I want to stream because it's fun when I play and I also want to make content at the same time It's really hard to find time. So just kind of bear with how long it's gonna take for the guides to come out but yeah, I'm working on guides, I'm working on analysis videos, and challenges and challenge videos. So let me know what you guys want in the challenges, something interesting or something crazy, as well as give me an analysis video that you guys want me to go over, either in a, um, what kind of MP4, for, MP4 format or a YouTube link or anything like that, whatever you guys can give me, I'll take a look at it. And I'll probably do them in a specific order. But if um, if everybody starts giving me like all tracer videos to analyze, I might kind of like, you know, go for another hero instead if I know how to analyze that character very well. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys have a better idea of where my channel is going. Hope to catch you guys on my stream. I'm going to put it in the description below as well. But yeah, anyways, um, I want to thank you, uh, Hoople Head USA again for allowing me to do this. It was really fun. I got everything, mostly everything I wanted. So uh, thank you. Thank you. I wouldn't have been able to get 50 loot boxes by to 22nd, I don't think. So this really helped me out a lot. But yeah, anyways, I um, always want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.